Today on Mike Attempts, Hanging Laundry Room Cabinets. We've been storing our detergents, fabric softeners, and sprays under the utility sink for years. Time to install some cabinets. First, we need to find and mark the studs so we know where to drive the screws. Battery operated stud finders usually work great, but can give inconsistent results in high humidity. A cheaper alternative is a magnetic stud finder. It's just a small magnet with a level in the center. It finds the nails or screws holding the drywall to the studs. Low tech but effective. The standard height for wall cabinets is 54 inches. Good enough for me. I cut a board 54 inches long to support the cabinets while securing them to the wall. Alternatively, you could screw a board to the wall horizontally and remove it when you're done. If you're working by yourself, get your step stool, drill, and driver ready first. Lift the first cabinet into position and rest it on the board. I drilled a pilot hole through the back panel of the cabinet so the screw wouldn't crack the particle board. I drove a two and a half inch cabinet screw into the stud with one hand while holding the cabinet with the other. Repeat at the top. Since there's only one stud behind this cabinet, I figured it'd be a good idea to drive another screw from the inside. If you need the cabinet to support even more weight, you could use some shims and drive a couple screws into a stud on the side. Repeat the process for the second cabinet. There are two studs behind this cabinet, so I can drive two screws in the bottom and two in the top. I got a set of metal rod sockets that will hold a 1 and 3 8 inch rod. Hold up a shirt on a hanger to find the right mounting height for you. Mark and drill pilot holes for the mounting screws. I used a piece of tape on the drill bit to mark the depth so I didn't drill all the way through the side of the cabinet. 
The screws that came with the rod sockets were too long for me and would have poked through the inside of the cabinet, so I picked up some shorter screws. Repeat the process for the other side. Measure the gap between the sockets and cut the rod. I decided to add some knobs to fancy things up a bit. The cabinets came with two shelves each, but I only used one. If you used a wooden rod, throw on a couple coats of polyurethane and you're done. See the description below for the cabinets, parts, and tools I used. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.